Counter-Strike is notorious for the extremely low mouse sensitivities that pro players use, with some clocking in over 1 meter or 3.3 foot of real-life mouse movement just to rotate once in-game. Compared to a modern shooter like Overwatch, with a pro player average sensitivity of 33.6 cm per 360, CSGO sits at a pro average of 51.5 cm. I'm going to show you exactly why low sense performs so well in this game, and I promise you it's not as simple as player mobility or map design, it's far more interesting. Now, for it to make sense, we have to establish some context. First, in a vacuum, the lower our mouse sensitivity is, the more accurate we are closer to our crosshair, and the harder it is to aim away from our crosshair. For example, playing on about the lowest sensitivity you see in pro play, of around 100 centimeters, you can see that aiming outside of the crosshair is tough, but aiming at small distant targets close to the crosshair is a breeze. Alternatively, on something higher like 30 centimeters, the opposite is true, where aiming outside the crosshair is easy and closer to the crosshair is harder. The average sense landing at around 51.5 centimeters is likely due to this being a great blend of precision around the crosshair while still having the mobility to handle larger aiming movements like you'd see in close to mid-range fights or when you're fighting multiple angles. With that established, let's look at why low sensitivity actually works. It all comes down to having more room for error, which in turn provides consistency. Normally, you'd aim for the head, but this will be easier to show with a larger target, so let's aim at the upper chest for now. Using extreme values to show the difference, to hit this target on 100 centimeters, all we have to do is land our mouse within this generous range on our mouse pad. But if we use the opposite extreme of 10 centimeters, you have to land your mouse in this incredibly small area where you can barely even see my mouse moving. And this was against a close target while aiming for the chest. Trying to land a long range headshot on high sensitivity gives you so little room for error that almost no pro players bother with the trouble. And now that we know exactly how low sensitivity works, the next step is leveraging it to improve our own aim. We can't just keep lowering it to improve our accuracy as the trade-offs become too detrimental. So we have to find the right balance that works for us. Aim training, or even 100 targets, while useful for mouse control and warming up, are typically poor methods of finding your most performative sensitivity. Amongst variables like engagement distance, player and target movement, for finding sensitivity, they tend to be missing the key variable of lethality. We aim differently when we're on a timer and have to take them down before they get us. Refrag's Crossfire provides an incredibly efficient environment to hone in on our most performative sensitivity. There's a great mix of target acquisition, which is essentially aiming outside of the crosshair that we covered at the start, and precision required for headshots or great sprays to ensure we take them down first, which is aiming close to the crosshair. Play through with a mix of sprays and one taps, freely changing your sensitivity around to see how things feel. Muscle memory for a sensitivity is a myth. Aim is just mouse control, so don't stress or get in your head about ruining your aim by changing your settings. Ultimately, you're striving to find settings that feel instinctive, where you aren't having to fight your crosshair to get it where you want it to go. If you're totally lost, start at the average pro sense and work your way out from there, both higher and lower. You've got legends like Simple playing on 33.6 centimeters, and twists playing on 61 centimeters. You can find what your own settings equal in centimeters per 360 by using an online calculator like aiming.pro. If you're sold on using settings that are more mid-ranged or higher, I can show you an incredible mouse grip technique that bends the rules in this video here, giving you incredible headshot precision for those long range shots without having to lower your sensitivity. You can find more of my aiming content over at Struth Gaming on YouTube, but for now, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.